couple things before you mount your hardware to your barn door. Check the floor for level. Uh, you got your mounting board up top secured good. Uh, my floor is pretty level, so I'm going to measure up um, from the bottom in the middle. Directions call for a bunch of millimeters. Uh, U.S., I'm going to call it uh, 15 sixteenths, and I'm actually going to shorten that a little bit to three quarters uh, to get it a little closer to the floor. It was a little high for my liking, um, but you can, uh, you know, check that if you want. Uh, I got my center mark there, pretty close to center, and I'm going to put my bar, uh, clamp it to the uh, to that mounting board, and then mark level it and mark the rest of my holes because I'm going to... Uh, pre-drill those so you want to make sure this rail is level so it doesn't slide on you a slide open or closed uh, mock up the leg screw washer and then the spacer on the back side uh, I'm gonna pre-drill all my holes uh, for these legs I got started with the middle one and just kind of snugged it up a little bit it's a little loose uh, till I get the rest of them in there um, if you're gonna use I wouldn't use an impact driver on these a uh, drill is a little risky here too. You don't want to torque on them too bad. You'll snap those bolts. Uh, next would be the uh, hardware for the rollers. Uh, those holes came pre-drilled in the door. Uh, you want to make sure the wheels are over top of the door. Um, and then I need to give us a little tap and get it on there. And then you have an acorn nut that goes on the on the front side. Uh, you can put a wrench on the back if you need to and tighten those up. Um, and that's all there is to that. So after you get those on, um, hang your door. You want to tilt it a little, just a little bit and put the wheels on the rail um, and then just kind of slide it back and forth. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I want to make sure it's um, over the doorway where I want it to be before I put this um, guide on mount before I mount that to the floor so um, I'm going to pre-drill holes through the vinyl plank flooring about eh, twice the size of the size of the actual screw uh, you don't want to screw through your flooring if it's a floor like this um, you want it to move so uh, I'll drill a pilot hole about twice the size of the screw uh, maybe a little more if you need to, but it's not necessary. And then snug those up uh, into your flooring and uh, line that up with your door. And then you can start working on these bumpers. Uh, nowhere in the directions did it say how to put these bumpers on. They do tighten on to the rail with, with a hex screw. Um, so it can only go on pretty much one way. And then you have these anti-jump little blocks that go on the top of the door so the door can't actually uh, accidentally pop off the track. So uh, mount those on top of the door close to the rollers and put your handle on. That's about it. So uh, if you like these barn doors, uh, I hope that helps. It's pretty easy.